Well, Emo, what a fantastic air turbine tools um, stand, incredible. Tell me a little bit about your company. Well, air turbine is the destination for high speed. So we come to Emo to meet companies from all over the world. We have speeds from 25 to 90,000 RPM. So you have 1.4 horsepower. This is a unique technology we've developed over 30 years, which we're applying in live tools, in spindles, and in motors. In addition, we have the lightest and most powerful hand tools of any range you'll find. Mm -hmm. So there are no working time limits. So we demonstrate these products on our stand with the help of Fanuc, Herco, and Tornos with live demonstrations. And we welcome to our stand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're looking here at the hand tools, that's good timing. Obviously it's difficult to show on camera, but there's no vibration at all, is there? Yeah, extremely low vibration, low weight, and great power. So you can just use a light hand and let your tool do the cutting. You'll get longer cutting tool life and no stress in your hand. Yeah, what the obvious question is, you know, who, who should use this? I guess the answer is everybody, isn't it? If you're working with a tool up to a quarter inch capacity, this will change the work experience and you'll get rid of all the carpal tunnel risk. You'll get a great finish. And what we're illustrating here is the tool won't back off. You keep the high speed in cut. Sure. And you've already mentioned Herco, but what are we looking at on the Herco? Our friends at Herco have given us one of their fine machines and we are milling at 50,000 RPM with a 1.4 horsepower spindle that changes automatically out of your mag magazine. I've seen dozens and dozens of these on machines, very popular all around the world, but now we're looking at a, a sliding head lathe, some people not familiar with your brand. Yes. What, um, how does it work on a, a sliding well, head? Well, when we come up here, we've got a new uh, sliding head live tools giving you 65 and 80,000 RPM. I'm going to hand you over now to Mr. Michael Blanchard, who will explain how our live tools will turn your lathe into a high speed machine. Hi. Hi, thanks for joining us. Yeah, talk us through the technology, if you will. Well, here's one of our newest live tools. This is the 800XCLT. And this will allow you to go 65,000 RPM or 80,000 RPM. Mm -hmm. And most lathes, their live tooling only goes about 6,000 RPM, sure. which means you're gonna have a lot of broken tools, uh, a lot of worn out tools, and a lot of uh, extended cycle times. Mm -hmm. Typically, why are they used? Would it be just for engraving or, or, or finishing milling as well? And, and well typically, in the Swiss machine, you're making very small parts. So you're already mm -hmm. using very small tools. So what this would be for is for micro drilling, engraving, and also some 3D surfacing uh, that you can do right here in your lathe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Using the, the tools correctly as well, correct data, correct cutting data. Correct. Uh, normally, uh, it's a very simple ratio. So if you're going 6,000 RPM in your spindle, you've already proven out this program. Now we're going to go 65,000 RPM. We just take your feed rate, times it point by 6.5, and now you have the proper surface footage for the tools. So Peter, you've got a vast experience in five axes CNC machining. I'd like to dive into that, if I may. How, how does this technology aid five axes machining? Well, the thing is, uh, machine tools in general are set up for 15, 18, or 20,000 RPM. And that is usually a problem uh, on today's workpieces because you have a lot of areas that need to be fine machined, fine milling, extremely good surface finishes, and things uh, along those lines. And you cannot achieve that with the low RPMs that are in the machine. So what you do is you use one of our air turbine spindles to enhance the capability of the machine that you have already. And you make it faster, you make it better, and you make it more accurate. Mm -hmm. And the thing of course is always, uh, every customer in the end always has to ask, what's in it for me? What's in it for me for a tool that you add to an existing machine for between three to six and a half thousand uh, dollars, uh, you enhance the capability. You reduce the cycle time, you get much better surface finish, and you get much higher quality. Uh, unlike the main spindles in the machine, you can let it run with air 
and air basically that you're using cools the uh, spindles while they are running. Uh, in one of the main machines, you can run at 15 or 18,000 RPM, but it's very, very limited because then the accuracy falls apart because you heat up the spindle. Whereas with these spindles, you don't do that. It's an accessory that you basically load in and you load it in through the tool changer automatically. Uh, for the most part, your operator does not even need to know that an air spindle is in the machine. Mm -hmm. It's part of the regular process. You load it in, load it out through the tool magazine. Many machine tool builders do not recommend you run their spindles uh, to 100% for a long time, do they? So no. your spindle's gonna be at zero, so no problem. That is absolutely correct. And uh, obviously we work with the who's who in the industry as to the people who uh, are machining uh, with Grob, with Hermley, with uh, uh, Hidelius, with Mazak, with Okuma, all these people, DMG for instance as well, Haas even, uh, they're all using our spindle because of that. They're complementing their spindle that they have in the machine. Just like you said, they don't want to run it at maximum RPM. They don't recommend it because if that spindle fails, you're looking at 20 to 40,000 repair cost and one of these spindles that you see here obviously is in the three to six and a half thousand uh, range so within two to three months usually you get an ROI you get these paid for on five axes especially uh, part of the problem is reach and reach when you have a small tool and these spindles here work with six millimeters max but since they're running at high RPM, since the tool is very weak and you cannot extend it out of the collet too much, we have a long shaft, obviously, so that you can reach and don't have collision within the machine. That is the main purpose. And you can, like I said, get an excellent surface finish, reduce machining time. The efficiency of your existing machine goes way, way up. And that is usually what sells uh, our spindles in the market. And as you can see, we have uh, different sizes, uh, different RPMs as well, 40, 50,000 RPM. This one is a 40,000 RPM, and this one goes to 65,000 or 80,000 RPM. So we all know where to buy for world-class technology, but I haven't come across this before. Can you, can you explain? Yes, this is our latest innovation. Uh, this is a Bluetooth tachometer that will monitor your spindle's RPM while it's cutting. As you can see here, it's a very rapid update, live feed, and this will allow you to monitor the RPM while you're cutting. So if you go into a heavy pocket, or the tool breaks, or you lose air pressure, this will actually feed back into the PLC and let the machine know that there is an issue and uh, notify the operator. Okay, and what's, it, what's the advantage of knowing that? Uh, well, the advantage of this is to be able to have more data on the tool. So the more data you have, the better machining process you're going to have, and you're going to be able to cut out all the variables. And you don't have to be in the machine. You can be in your office on the golf course. You have your phone. Yes, this is all Bluetooth. So we can have this set up on your phone. We can have alerts set up to the boss to let them know that a tool mm -hmm. broke or the machine is down. And this will cut down on your downtime as well. Yeah, so like we say, talk us through uh, the technology. Okay, well, this is our latest innovation. It's a micro spindle for small micro drilling, uh, 3D surfacing, and deburring. This is called the X100, uh, sorry, the 600X. And as you can see here, it's a very low profile. And because of the amount of air it uses, it's very small, we're able to feed the air through the spindle without any extra apparatuses. Mm -hmm. But normally, when we use larger spindles that draw more air, we'd have to use a system we call a TMA. And this automatically feeds the air into the spindle when it is engaged in, in its cutting position. This is fully tool changeable, so you don't have to stop the machine, you don't have to plug in any hoses, you don't have any downtime. And one of the big advantages is the, the, the FANUC spindle is at zero, so it's, it's, a, it's, long, it's a, the longevity of the spindle. Correct, yes. Uh, instead of running your high-speed spindle at its full max for uh, you know, countless months or hours, uh, that's going to cause wear and tear on your main spindle. 
So instead, I think we can put one of these in and get much higher speeds and also much more durability and less wear and tear on your machine. Yeah, and just finally, behind you, we've got, uh, we've got the automation, we've got the robot. That is correct. So our, we have a motor series that is a steel shank here. You can see where we can mount, and this allows you to do offline deburring and any surfacing that you need to do. And this will cut out uh, machine time and allow you to have production without anyone standing here. Fantastic. So all these products we've seen today, world class. How do people find out more? Website? Yes, you can go to airturbinetools.com and we'll have all the information there for you. You can also fill out in our info section and someone will get back to you within 24 hours and answer your questions.